Hello everyone, um, this is lesson 81, humans can be angels or devils, and this is a kind of a subtle thing. There is no limit to human good. There are people that will jump on grenades to save other human beings, they will sacrifice, they will go out of their way. There, There is no limit to the human good, and there's also no limit to human depravity. There are disgusting horrible people out there that'll do the most unimaginable things. So this is something that really confuses people because you, you, you think, well, pepper tastes like pepper, salt tastes like salt, water's wet. Humans are not like that. There is almost no limit to, to human good and no limit to human bad. And humans, and this, so I, I titled this lesson, I didn't know what else to title it. Maybe somebody can out there can come up with a better title humans can be angels or devils there is and this I said is, is very confusing and you know monks Buddha Jesus they went out among men and they you know they kind of wanted to leave and you know all the sages who went to mountaintops and withdrew from humanity to look at things they were almost they were leaving behind all of this evil Sodom and Gomorrah the vicious horrible best spoke Zarathust or whatever and they would leave but a fool who pursues his folly becomes wise so they eventually came back a stronger vessel knowing that they didn't have to let the evil nastiness of other people touch them and this is maybe the lesson here there is no limit to human good and there is no limit to human bad you have you but that doesn't mean you as a human have to be bad you can be as good as you want to be. Um, and it's a real confusing thing sometimes. You think, well, I'm part of this species. And wow, there's some real horrible examples of this species. There's a lot of horrible examples of this species. I must be horrible. And you, you think about that. But you are a free individual who can make a choice. And you can decide what you want to be. I, I've said this before. You can be Nietzsche's self-rolling wheel. You can be the self-rolling wheel. You can make... Your decisions and it, it's very um, confusing because it's hard because we want to classify things and categorize things and put them into neat little boxes but you know if there's a turd sitting on the floor of an art museum it doesn't make the art less nice it might leave the experience poor and that's how you have to view people you have to take each person as an individual and realize, wow, this person might be really amazing or this person might be really horrible. And you can't trust everyone right off in the beginning. And you have to kind of realize it. And of course, liars are very good at their trades. So the best liars and deceivers are usually pretty good at it and um, can really trick you. But be aware. And, it's, and it's, it's, it is it's it's a mind-boggling concept because there's not much else like that. You know, you think, well, race cars are fast and trucks are slow or heavy or strong or you know red is red or gold is this way but human beings when we say they can be angels or devils that makes humans so complex so dangerous so unreliable so unsafe it can really mess people up um on what's going on and what you know again the weather report from my on my phone um, and that and that's a difficulty to live with so if you're aware of that like being forewarned is forearmed if you're just aware of that and say well this person might be good might be bad this person and and humans have a ability to have almost no limit to their bad or their good and so that makes things it's just just to be aware of that is sometimes helpful for people um, and and it can happen in the same person you know you can have just like, you know, there's no limit to how ingenious some humans can come up with some things. And then there's no limit to almost how stupid they can be. There's no limit to how good they can be, how bad they can be. Humans are very difficult to predict. They're not safe in, in and they're not safe in that they're not, you can't assure, oh, I see a, this person, you know, if I see a sheep, I know it's going to give me wool. If I see a milk cow, it's going to, they're not going to change that much. People are very, very so much. It's, it, they're almost scary. So don't be, a, don't be afraid and proceed with fear in life and dealing with people. Be aware of what's going on and what, what people can 
um, be capable of. Look at the world, see the beauty. Like I said before, I kind of used a terrible analogy of a turd on the floor of an art museum, but just because some people are horrible doesn't make other people, doesn't diminish how wonderful other people can be. I've, I've, I, I did a couple walkabouts across uh, the United States and just threw a backpack on and walked around and, and people would invite me never you know invite me in sleep at their place or you know i or drink out of their garden hose i need water people people are insanely helpful and friendly and a lot of good i think people are intrinsically basically good but there's bad too so be aware of that and the range in human beings be aware of that and go wow it'll kind of open your eyes to the whole scope of what's out there in the world um, and there's some blind foolish people that you know have gone out and gotten killed by somebody that's going to victimize them and there's people that have gone out and assume everybody's trying to cheat them and be evil and they've not lost opportunities to have good friends i always tell uh, people your best friend maybe you've never met yet you know give people some opportunities so be aware of that it's just it's something to chew on and think about people can be devils or angels they all have it in them and that's why it's so important for people to try to develop themselves. But it's also important for you to be aware, be awake, and look at the possibilities and the beauty of the world. So anyway, hope this helps somebody. Bye.